Chapter 5 Season 2 is one of the best Fortnite seasons of all time, but if you guys are struggling to find a combo to main this season, then this is the video that you need to watch, because today guys, we're looking at 35 Fortnite combos you can main in Season 2. These are going to be some of the best combos you ever see, we're going to be talking about some of the more tryhard combos in the game, and of course, some of the newest combos as well, so make sure to let me know in the comments down below what combo you are going to be using in Season 2. If you guys also want a chance to win a free battle pass, then make sure to go down and hit Hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already and let me know what combo you are meaning today but let's just get straight into it guys we're starting off with a brand new combo and this is poseidon and we're pairing it with the cold snap now poseidon has to be the biggest meme skin from this season's battle pass i don't know how try hard or how popular this will be in the future but it definitely is the big meme skin i think this is really clean though there are three proper edit styles for this skin so far and i feel like we might even get more edit styles in the future as well once we get the super styles for all of the battle pass skins i'm a huge fan of this i just think it looks so so clean and i cannot wait to see how popular this becomes the cold snap is a really obvious choice for the pickaxe for this it fits in with the color theme of this combo just so so well that we had to include it with the poseidon you could always use the pickaxe design for poseidon as well but i just thought it would be cool to change it up with a different pickaxe Let's move on, the guys, to the number 34 position, and we have April O'Neil, and we're pairing this with the Banana Splitter. April O'Neil was added to the game in Chapter 5, Season 1. It was definitely one of my favorite skins added during that season, and it was part of the Ninja Turtles collab as well. This was sort of an unexpected skin. We had a bunch of Ninja Turtle skins added to the game in Season 1, but I feel like no one expected April O'Neil to actually be added to the game. Because this is so unique, it has a color style like we have never seen before, so I feel like you have to use a yellow pickaxe with this, and that is why the banana splitter is going to be a really good choice. We don't know how often this will return to the store though, considering how popular the Ninja Turtle collabs were during Chapter 5 Season 1. It just might not feature in the store that often as we move throughout the rest of Chapter 5. Let's move on the guys to the number 33 position, and we have Harley Quinn, and we're pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Now, we do have a few different styles of Harley Quinn actually in Fortnite. We have the original style that was added in Chapter 2 Season 1, and then of course, Rebirth Harley Quinn that was added a few seasons later. For this, we're going to be talking about the original style of Harley Quinn, which we have never really talked about on the channel before. I love this skin a lot, though. There are two different styles for this, and even though Rebirth Harley Quinn has been the more popular one, I still feel like the design of this original Harley Quinn skin was too good not to include on this list. No one else has ever really made this either, so now is going to be the perfect time for you guys to main this. I feel like the Harley hitter fits in with it so perfectly. Obviously, it was designed for this skin as well, but still, I just feel like this is such an amazing skin in the game right now now. Let's move on, guys, to another collab skin, and this is Domino, and we're pairing this with the Harley Hitter as well. I've always been a big fan of Domino. I feel like what I really love about this is that even though this is a collab skin, it isn't as popular or as well-known as some of the other Marvel collab skins that we do have in the game, and that just separates this from all of the other skins. It is really clean. It could definitely become tryhard in Fortnite, even if it isn't one of the better skins, especially from the Marvel franchise, but I'm still a huge fan of this, and I've talked about this a bunch on my channel before. We don't really have too many pickaxes that are going to fit in with the color theme of this, which is why I feel like the Harley Hitter is a really good choice. You could always use something like the Cold Snap because it will have that blue color effect to it, but I still feel like the Harley Hitter is going to be the best choice for this. If you don't want to use a tryhard combo though that has been a little bit more popular, then I feel like Padme and the Scully Scepter is going to be a better choice. Padme has been one of the best Star Wars skins we have ever seen. Obviously, we are including a few different collab skins at the moment, but I I feel like collab skins have actually been quite popular in Fortnite. Padme is really clean though. It is obviously a Star Wars skin and we don't really see too many Star Wars skins being popular, let alone tryhard. So it is definitely cool to see this happening with Padme. This has also been held by a few pros and streamers using this since chapter five started like Booga. I feel like he is such a big influence on the Fortnite community. So whenever he starts using a skin or a combo that usually ends up becoming quite popular. If you guys don't want to mean a tryhard combo though, then you can always use one of the biggest these combos we have ever seen and this is going to be the giant chicken and we're pairing this with the scratcher this was an entire chapter 5 season 1 combo but unfortunately you probably won't be able to buy this combo again even though the giant chicken was added to the item shop and part of the family guy collab the scratcher was also part of the family guy collab but this was added to the battle pass this was the big axe design for peter griffin i think this was really clean i really hope they do add more skins from this collab in the future it would be really cool to have a stewie back 
sapling or even a quagmire skin. I feel like that would be so, so funny. So hopefully that is something they do add in the future. Now that they've collaborated with them once, obviously the door is open now just for them to add more and more. So I kind of wait to see what happens. I feel like meme skins have been popular in the past, but slowly more and more people are going to be using the more casual or even try hard combos. And next up guys, we're going with Artemis and the Harley Hitter. Artemis and the Harley Hitter is one of the cleanest looking combos in the game today. And a lot of pros and streamers have actually been using this. Artemis is part of the chapter five season two battle pass. So you can pick this up for 950 V-Bucks, but the Harley Hitter is also going to set back a further 800 V-Bucks because it is an item shop pickaxe. I love the way this combo looks though. Artemis can actually be quite a hard skin to find a pickaxe for, given how unique the design of this skin actually is. But if you guys are a fan of the way this skin looks, then I feel like the Harley Hitter is going to fit in with both different styles. We probably will get even more styles added in the future as well once these super styles are unlocked for all of the Battle Pass skins, and I cannot wait to see what they look like. If you guys do have a better pickaxe in mind for this combo, then make sure to let me know what that is in the comments down below. That takes us though guys to the number 28 position, and we have MJ, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Now I'm not going to lie, this is a skin that I have pretty much completely forgotten about up until a few weeks ago. I love the way this looks though, I feel like MJ is such an underrated skin, and it does remind me a lot of Domino. It is a Marvel collab skin, but no one really recognizes this as a Marvel skin. MJ is one of the most significant characters in the Spider-Man franchise, and definitely one of the more popular ones as well. Zendaya already has a bunch of skins in the game, so it's really cool to see another one being used, and I just love the way this looks. I feel like it is a perfect combo for you guys to main today, because regardless of if you are a casual player, a tryhard player, or a sweaty player, you're going to like the way this skin looks. I feel like our next combo works in the exact same way though, and this is Tropical Punch Zoe, and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. Tropical Punch Zoe might be a skin that you guys have completely forgotten about. This is actually part of a Summer Legends bundle that we got back during Chapter 2. It only ever features in the store once or twice a year during the Summer Update, and that is only a few weeks away, so you guys might actually be able to buy this sooner rather than later. I love the way this looks though, it is such an underrated skin, I feel like it is so forgotten about in the entire Fortnite community, so if you guys do own this, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. The Star One fits in with this absolutely perfectly, the color styles match up so, so well, and I cannot wait to see how many people start using this when we finally get the summer update for 2024. One skin that will hopefully return soon is ISO, and we are pairing this with the Studded Axe. Now, this is a very new combo. I've really only started talking about this over the last few days because we have seen some pros and streamers using it, like Malabuka, but I feel like this is a combo that you guys need to main in Fortnite today. What is so unique about this skin is that it is one of the more highly detailed, highly reactive, and highly animated skins that we do have in Fortnite, which sets it apart from pretty much every other skin we've already talked about, and pretty much every other skin we're going to be talking about in this video. Usually skins like this don't end up becoming tryhard, but I feel like with Malabuka and a few other pros starting to use it, it could easily become one of the more tryhard skins in the game, especially some of the more highly detailed skins as well. I just think it is so, so good, and you obviously want to pair this with a pickaxe that is quite simplistic, and that is why I feel like the studded axe is a good choice, and it does only set you back 800 V-Bucks as well. Let's move on, guys, to the number 25 position, and we have Cozy Chomps, and we are pairing this with the Vision Pickaxe. Cozy Chomps is an amazing skin. I've already talked about this a bunch on my channel before, but I'm a huge fan of the more casual style skins in Fortnite that do end up also becoming tryhard. I feel like this was a really well-designed skin. The default style was already clean, and then we got more edit styles added in Chapter 3, and so far, that is the one that I've been using the most. I feel like it does look very similar to the default style, but it is still quite unique and original, so that is just only going to help it in the future. The Vision is also a really good pickaxe for this because it is going to fit in with both styles for it, but obviously you can always swap this out to any of the other pickaxes we have talked about. It probably isn't known as a tryhard skin in Fortnite though, so if you guys are looking for a skin that is known as a very tryhard combo, then we need to move on to Zadie and the Leviathan Axe. This could honestly be finishing up a lot higher on the list. This is going to be a perfect combo for you guys to main in Fortnite today because no one is maining this skin. It has always been extremely tryhard, but it just never got the popularity that it deserved, and I thought that was always really strange. It has three different edit styles, and you can pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks, so hopefully it does get more and more popular in the future. I feel like the winter edit style is my favorite. The default edit 
style also looks really clean, and those are probably going to be the best styles to pair with the Leviathan Axe. Let's move on though guys to the number 23 position and we have a brand new combo and this is Odyssey and we're pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Odyssey is a really unique skin. This was added at the start of Chapter 5 Season 2 and this is known as the Ranked Reward skin in Chapter 5. Basically, this skin is going to change its style depending on what rank you end up in in the Ranked Game Mode of Fortnite which was formerly known as Arena. So if you guys do work your way up to Unreal then you're going to have a different looking skin to everyone that finishes in silver or gold. I think this is a really cool touch. The only downside to this is that you didn't actually get this skin for free. I feel like that would have made it a little bit better. We would see a lot more people using it as well, but the fact that you did have to buy it is holding it back from being as popular as it could have been. The Vault Guardian will fit in with most color styles for this combo, and that is why I feel like it is the best pickaxe for this. Let's move on, though, guys, to the number 22 position, and we have Wildcard, and we're pairing this with Bow's Bow. This is one of the most OG skins on the list, and we don't really talk about too many male combos on the channel anymore, but I feel like we had to talk about Wildcard. It is one of my favorite skins of all time. It is really expensive though, coming in at 2,000 V-Bucks, so it does make sense if you guys want to spend your V-Bucks on some other combos. This skin is really clean though. We actually have five different styles for this now in Fortnite. We obviously had the original style and four other variants that look very similar to that. And then we got a green style added during chapter three and i feel like that is my favorite style the point of using lebo's bow with this though is that this is a really simplistic pickaxe that is going to work with every single color style so if you guys do want to use the default style or the green edit style then lebo's bow is going to match both of them perfectly that takes us though guys to the number 21 position and we have the elite agent and we are pairing this with the trusty number two we just talked about wildcard so we may as well talk about another og skin and the elite agent is just slightly better this is added to the game in chapter one season three as part of the battle pass so you can get this entire combo for only 950 v bucks i love the way it looks though it is so so clean and it is hard to come across a battle pass skin that has been better than this it is going to be really interesting to see if this does stay popular for the rest of chapter 5. I'm really interested to see. And what is even more unique about this is that we actually got another edit style added a few seasons after this battle pass ended. That has never happened before and it'll probably never happen again, but it just shows you guys how good this actually was. Let's move on though to another massively meme combo, guys, and this is Budge, and we're pairing it with the Star Wand. Budge is by far one of the best skins we've seen in Fortnite over the last few seasons, and it was added in chapter 5 season 1 with the Birds of a Feather bundle. We we actually got three skins with this but i feel like budge is the best one it has that rainbow color effect which means it is going to match in perfectly with the star wand which means even if you are a meme player then you can actually use this in the try hard game modes as well and get away with it we did see some pros and streamers using it i feel like it was a really clean skin but a lot of meme skins do die down quite quickly and i feel like that definitely has happened with budge let's move forward though, guys to the number 19 position and we have hannah and we're pairing this with the studded Axe. Hannah is one of the most highly customizable skins that we have seen over the last few seasons. What is really cool about this as well is that it isn't as complex as some of the other highly customizable skins that we have in the game. All you can do is turn the helmet on or off and change around the glowing effect or the colors on this skin. I feel like that is why the studded axe is going to be the perfect pickaxe for this. It doesn't mean that you have to pair the pickaxe for the exact color style you end up using, but you can use a really simplistic pickaxe like this and it's going to fit in with every single color style. That is so so sick i love this skin a lot we haven't seen that many people using it just yet but i feel like if enough pros and streamers do start using it we will see it become more and more popular one customizable skin that has been just slightly better though would have to be caper and we're pairing this with the driver pickaxe caper is a lot more full on than hannah you can customize this in a bunch more ways as well so not just change around the color actually on this but you can change around the headwear that she is wearing and add different stickers and emotes from your locker onto this skin to customize it even more. I feel like that is a really cool touch. It is really unique as well because we haven't really seen that on too many other skins and we probably won't see that on too many other skins that do get added to the game. And that is why the driver is going to be a good pickaxe as well. It's going to work in with 
caper the same way that the studded axe works in with Hannah. You just want a really simplistic pickaxe that's going to fit in with every single edit style, and that is what the driver does absolutely perfectly. Let's move on though to a much more simplistic skin, guys, and we have Valeria, and we're pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Valeria was part of the Battle Pass in Chapter 5 Season 1, and you could unlock this at Tier 100. Even though it might have been a little surprising to be the Tier 100 skin, especially when we have Peter Griffin in the Battle Pass, I still feel like this did a really cool job. It was one of the better designed skins. I just love the way this looks so, so much. And the super edit styles, even though they were underrated, just made this even better. I feel like this skin is so sick. We don't really see too many Battle Pass skins gaining more popularity in the future though. So I feel like this is only going to become more and more rare and definitely uncommon in Fortnite as well. So if you guys are looking for a brand new skin to main, then this is definitely one that I would pick. A lot of tryhard players have actually been using our next combo though, and this is Levin, and we're pairing this with the Slasher. Eleven is part of the Stranger Things collab that we got in Fortnite, and this was one of the more surprising collabs that we had in Season OG as well. We have had collabs with Stranger Things in the past, but that was all the way back in Chapter 1, and these skins hadn't been seen since, so I feel like no one expected there to be new Stranger Things skins that got added, but we actually got Eleven, and this was by far one of the coolest. The Slasher pickaxe was also added to the game in Season OG with the Michael Myers collab. This is one of the coolest looking pickaxes of all time, and he's just going to fit in with every single edit style of Eleven that we do actually see. You could also use this with our next combo, but we're going with Loveless and the Candy Axe. Loveless is one of the more underrated skins that we do have in the game today. It is a Fortnite crew skin from Chapter 3, so it is one of the oldest Fortnite crew skins that we do actually have, and this is basically a female wildcard skin. The wildcard skins has been some of the best that we have ever seen. This includes the original wildcard and of course the double agent wildcard as well. So it was pretty much guaranteed that Loveless was going to be an amazing skin. I would have loved this to be added to the game today though. We would get a bunch more styles for it. So hopefully that is something that Fortnite does look at adding in the future. You can still create some amazing combos with this though. I feel like the lighter pickaxes are probably going to work better with this. And I feel like the candy axe just matches in with it so, so perfectly. And it can be a little bit tricky to find skins that work so well with the candy axe, but I feel like the Loveless does a really good job, and this probably is unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list. It would definitely be a combo that I would main today, but let's move on guys to the number 14 position, and we have Reverie, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Reverie was the starter pack skin during Chapter 5 Season 1, so you could actually pick this up for only $5. The Star Wand is one of the cleanest looking pickaxes as well, and it fits in with this so, so perfectly, so we just had to include these items together. I love the way this skin looks though. We did actually have two different styles for this, but both edit styles look almost identical. I mean, it's basically the same skin, just with a hat on or off. If it had have been a little bit more creative and maybe some different colors, then I feel like we would see more people using it today. But for the moment, it just isn't one of those more try-hard skins. I would love to see this becoming more popular in the competitive game modes, but we're just going to have to wait and see as Chapter 5 progresses. Let's move on, guys, to the number 13 position, and we have Aida, and we're pairing this with the Gold Crow. Aida was added to the game during Chapter 3 as a level up quest skin, and you could buy this for 1,200 V-Bucks, and all you had to do is travel around the map and go to different locations, and you could actually unlock a second edit style for this skin for free. I feel like the default edit style is the better one, that is the one that more people have been using, and it does look better in my opinion, but if you do have that secondary style unlocked, then you can also use that as well. I feel like the Gold Crow is going to be the perfect pickup for this, but because this skin is never going to return to the game again, I feel like it will actually be quite rare in the future. I haven't really seen too many people maining this though, and the same can be said for our next combo because this is Chani, and we're pairing it with the Vision Pickaxe. Even though this skin is quite expensive, coming in at 1,500 V-Bucks, it is still so, so good and definitely worth it in Fortnite. I'm really surprised we didn't get more edit styles for this skin now that June 2 has released, even though I thought we would get more skins from June added to the game that hasn't happened just yet but it could mean it does happen in the future vision is going to be the perfect pickaxe for this it just fits in with the color theme of this skin really well and it is quite a simplistic pickaxe so it does fit in with this skin really really well but you could always swap this out for something like catwoman's grappling claw that takes us so guys to the number 11 position and we have mysterious fate and we're pairing this with the love lawn mysterious fate is one of the more unexpected skins that was added to the game in chapter 5 season 1 they sort of came out of the blue no one really expected this to be added, but I feel like a lot of people did love this when it first got released. It is going to fit in 
perfectly with the Lovelorn as well. The color styles just match up so, so perfectly. And I feel like both of these are really underrated items in Fortnite today. What is really cool to see about Mysterious Fate though is that it does look very, very similar to a few other rare skins that we have in Fortnite. I feel like this reminded me a lot of Glow and he's basically just an item shop version of that skin. I think that is a nice touch. It also does remind me a little bit of our next combo and this is going to be Core and we're pairing it with Ray's Quarterstaff. Core is a Battle Pass skin from Chapter 2. This was one of the more popular Battle Pass skins that we saw in Chapter 2, but no one has been using it since then, so I thought we had to include it on the list. Ray's Quarterstaff is also a really clean pickaxe, probably the most popular pickaxe from the Star Wars franchise as well, but we just don't see too many of those pickaxes being popular. Core is definitely worth using in Fortnite today though. I just love the way this looks so, so much and hopefully you guys do enjoy it as well. It is never going to be available again, but one combo that will be available in the future is going to be the Agency Renegades bundle and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Now we honestly have no idea if the Leviathan Axe is ever going to return to the store. It is one of the best looking pickaxes of all time. It does set you back a thousand V-Bucks as well and was added with the Kratos skin during chapter two, season five, but we have haven't seen it since then, making it one of the rarest item shop pickaxes in the history of the game. It is so unique though, it is a single-handed pickaxe with a unique animation as well, which just makes it even better. And it's gonna fit in with all of these skins from the Agency Renegades bundle. The only skins worth using though are Spike Catcher Siren and Shady Zadie. We have two different styles for each of these skins as well, and that just makes it even better. If you guys do want to main a male combo though, then I feel like Hades and the Hadean key is going to be a better choice. Even though these items were designed to work together, I still feel like we had to include it on the list, especially since this is the tier 100 combo from this season's battle pass. I love the way it looks so much. I feel like Hades is a really underrated skin at the moment. We haven't really seen too many pros or streamers using it, and I have no idea why, but hopefully that does change as the season progresses and more and more people do actually unlock it. I feel like the super edit styles for this skin as well could revolutionize this a lot and make it so much better than it is already, but we're just gonna have to wait and see as the season progresses. Let's move on the guys to the number seven position and we have Lara Croft and we're pairing this with the Ebon Heart Battle Axe. Now, so many people have been using Lara Croft, so if you guys do wanna main this combo, we're going to be changing it around and using the golden edit style of this skin. Now, this is an edit style that no one really uses in Fortnite today. We do have the default style, we have green PlayStation edit styles of this, and of course the golden edit style as well. I think the golden edit style is so underrated though it is very similar to a few of the other golden skins that we have in the game but i feel like so many people love the default style of lara croft that this really does get overlooked it is so so sick though it is going to fit in with the ebon heart battle axe absolutely perfectly as well so if that is something that you want to use then i highly recommend meaning this combo in fortnite today if you do want to use something that is a little bit newer though then summon seeker eevee and the candy axe might be a better choice now i don't know how popular this has been in the past or how popular this is going to be in the future, but I still really love it and feel like we had to include it on the list. Summon Seeker Eevee is a really good skin. It could have had a lot more edit styles though. We have a new style that was added, but it just could have had a few styles where the colors were changed around or even the jacket was taken off. And I feel like that would have made it a little bit better, but still by pairing this with the Candy Axe, it is definitely a try hard combo. And honestly, it could be one of the more try hard combos in the game right now. Let's move on the guys to the number five position and we have the Mogul Masters and we are actually going to be pairing this with the Studded Axe. Now for this you can use any edit style of the Mogul Master that you like but I feel like a bunch of people have actually been meaning the Canadian Mogul Master especially Nick A30 so if you guys do want to change this around then I feel like the German Mogul Master might actually be the best one. The German Mogul Master is definitely one of the more underrated ones. I feel like the French Mogul Master also looks really clean but the whole idea by using the Studded Axe is that you can use any of these skins with this pickaxe and it is still going to look good. The downside of the Mogul Masters, as you guys know, is that each of these edit styles does cost 1,500 V-Bucks. It isn't just one skin with a bunch of different styles, which is definitely the downside for this. And that obviously means that there are combos that are more popular, like the superhero skins, and we're pairing this with the Hadean Key. Now, we haven't really talked about this combo before because this pickaxe is literally brand new to the game, but I still really like the way this looks and feel like it could become a lot more try hard in the future. The superhero skins are already extremely try hard, but the Hadean key is one of the coolest looking pickaxes and he's going to change this around quite a bit. 
The color styles that we see people using are always pretty similar though. I feel like most people end up using the fully white or the fully gray edit style. So if you guys do want to stand out using these and maining them, then I feel like the best way to do this is by using some of the multicolored superhero skins that we do see people using. If you don't want to customize your own skin though, then something like the Polo Prodigy and the Scully Scepter is going to be a little bit better. I love the way these skins look. The Polo Prodigy was added back during Chapter 3, and it is really only gaining popularity now in Chapter 5. That is so strange, we haven't really seen too many other people using this skin during Chapter 4, but for whatever reason, a bunch of pros and streamers are using this in Chapter 5, and it is boosting the popularity of this so, so much. It just doesn't feature in the store that often, which is holding this skin back a lot, but hopefully it can feature in the store over the next few weeks, and if you guys are waiting for this to reappear, then that is going to be your chance to buy it. We do have a white and a black edit style for this, so the Scully Scepter is going to work with both, and that is what I love about this. That takes us, so guys, to the number two position, and we have Lana Lane, and we're pairing this with the Star Wand. Lana Lane was the Fortnite Crew skin for February. It is one of the better looking Fortnite Crew skins we've seen in a really long time as well, and if you guys are using the Star Wand, then you probably want to use the default edit style of this skin. You can always use some of the other edit styles that we're going to be unlocking in the future as well. We just sort of got an orange edit style unlocked, which will also work with the style wand, and I feel like this is a really cool style as well. The Fortnite crew has definitely been improved a bunch. It is going to set you back $10 a month, but I still feel like it is so, so worth it because you get a thousand V-Bucks for free, a battle pass completely for free as well, and of course, some really cool cosmetics. But unfortunately, it isn't good enough to come in at the number one position, and that is because we have Aphrodite, and we're pairing this with the Studded Axe. This has to be the best combo. I mean, Aphrodite is one of the best Battle Pass skins we've seen in a really long time, and it has already been the most popular and tryhard skin during this season. I love the way it looks a lot. The first edit style or the default style is by far the best one. We also have a pink edit style of this, but I feel like that isn't as popular as it could be, and we probably will unlock even more styles for this in the future as well, which will just make it even better. But there you guys go. That is my entire list for 35 Five combos you can main in Fortnite today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to let me know which one in the comments down below is your favorite. And of course, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.